Good evening and uh, welcome back to the Mindful Model Makers Workshop. Um, what I want to talk about this evening for a little while, uh, I'm not actually doing any modelling, I've done a little bit earlier on because I'm getting uh, a piece ready for um, a competition, Christmas competition at the Model Railway Club that I belong to next week. Um, so. I'm getting on with that. I've, you can follow that, uh, the build so far, on the YouTube channel. Um, so I'm not going to show you any more of that at the moment. But what I'm going to just talk about for a little while, just a few minutes, is um, basically the mindfulness of model making. I don't know whether any of us have really sat down and analysed what, when we're building something, making a model, painting it, whatever it is, even it can be just a simple kit um, that's already in a box, in bits, you glue it together, paint it, whatever. But the thing is, what that can actually do is if you suffer from any kind of depression, anxiety or whatever, it can help that because it gives you something to focus on. Um, and that's what I've found over the years, that um, if you just go to wherever it is you do your modelling. I mean, I'm lucky, I have a room here, a spare room, that I can use to do my modelling in. The previous place I had, I had a workshop, and I could work in there. But if you're not that fortunate to have that, um, you can still get yourself a little tray to put your model on. Um, yeah, you may have to scale things down a little bit as regards what you build and what you do, but it's still achievable. And what it will do is help because it gives you, you'll fix your mind on whatever it is you're doing and the rest of whatever was perhaps causing you some kind of anxiety will be pushed out of the way for the time being. I don't mean to say it's going to go forever. Um, you may need some form of treatment for that or if you kind of just indulge in, in distractions because that's, that's what I look at my model making as as a form of distraction from everyday life sometimes when i finish before i have my dinner in the evening i left 10 minutes just doing a little bit it might just be cutting a simple bit painting one small part but it's something it's a switch off from my normal day's work and i do that for 10 minutes and then after that it's i don't know it's um you you need to try it really but it uh, it switches your head completely, you switch off from the work aspect and you go into a relaxation mode like that and then after that, you know, I can sit and eat my dinner, whatever it is we're going to do for the evening and sometimes we'll even come back and do a bit more modelling. Obviously with the YouTube channel, I'm always um, thinking about things to um, film um, online so that you can uh, see what I'm up to. Um, and I hope most of you enjoy that. I don't know whether you do or you don't, but you can comment on that. But there is this side of me as well that also wants to convey to other people the relaxation you can have. I mean, this year I've actually joined a model railway club. Now, I've been modelling since about the age of 10 and I'm coming up to 69. So I've been modelling a long time. And I've never really thought, well, I, I have on and off, uh, that's telling a lie, I have on and off thought about uh, joining a club. Um, and I really am glad that I have. I've only been there a few months, but um, yeah. The thing is, it's like-minded people. And the club that I belong to, there's, there's no kind of infighting, no little clicks or anything. Everybody's friendly. And they're open to show you things. So in other words, I don't know much about DCC. I'm still a basic analogue man. Two wires to the track. Plastic um, joiner on uh, on the fish plate and things like that. But of course with all this DCC, when, when you're there and guys are running diesel locomotives that are starting up and, and doing all the sounds that a real one was, um, then you think, well, this is another world. And it's not that hard, but they are willing to show you. But the, it doesn't take long to make friends, and it's three hours a week, um, and it's, well, to me, it's um, one of the best things I've done for a long, long time. 
So if you are thinking about joining a club, just go along. I went along for two or three weeks before I paid any subscriptions just to get to um, know the people there. I, I still don't know half the names, but it doesn't really matter. Um, or even if they know mine, it, again, it doesn't matter. I, I just take a case along, um, my modelling kit along, and I just sit there and I make something. And the next minute someone will come over and start chatting to you, or you can walk round and sit next to where they are and watch what they're doing and start chatting. And it is as simple as that. It's just breaking that kind of barrier to start with, because we all give ourselves a million reasons why not to do a thing, but we only want one reason to really do it. So that's the thing. But we, we, we talk ourselves out of things and we, we all do that. Um, but just go. Just find out when the, your local club is. Find out what, what day, night or whatever it is they have their um, meeting and, and go along. And I'm sure they will welcome you. And it doesn't matter what kind of thing you do. I mean, I, I am primarily railways because that's... What I've always been into but there are other clubs out there I mean years and years ago I used to make airfix planes and was in a group that did that I mean they were really fanatical right down to the last detail but that's how they got their thing but I made things and put in competitions and mine wasn't anywhere near as good as there but it didn't matter they welcomed the fact that there's somebody else coming along learning and um, yeah just taking part so just if if you want to get into modeling it is quite easy to start um you can always put um uh, questions um comments and um yeah and uh, i just tell you more or if you want me to make more videos on you know how to get into the hobby but there is lots out there there's thousands of videos out there with people a bit like myself, really trying to encourage others. It's, it's not that I'm doing this for any financial, I don't get any financial thing out of this at the moment, but what I do get is, is better than money, is um, a way of kind of relaxing, um, making something and giving yourself some satisfaction. So anyway, if that's of any help to anybody then um, give me a like and uh, I can always make more of these videos and fit them in with some of the model making that I'm doing at the same time so anyway so if you want to subscribe subscribe um, or just make a comment and I'll reply to you but anyway that's uh, that's it for now and uh, I'll probably be making another video with the scale scenes um, diesel um, shed that I'm building um, probably in the next couple of days. Anyway, thank you for now and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.